Welcome to MRN's live coverage from the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's Brickyard 400. The Brickyard is a track with a lot of history, and it's seen plenty of great racing over the years, hasn't it, Barney? This track's tradition alone is what inspires the drivers to do well here. What a great feeling it must be to stand in victory lane at Indy. We'll see here shortly who that lucky man is going to be. Drivers, start your engines! Is that okay? Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chase for the Championship here in the Poma NASCAR Series Season 25. Today it is the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the running of the Brickyard 400. And on the pole is Tamika Jazz in the 18 and our highest starting chaser sharing the front row is Amari Stoudemire Jr. There is the 19, Tord Larson starting in 9th, Jared Lewis 14th, Guerrero 21st, MDev 24th, Fitzwater 27th, Smart 29th, Arna 39th, Ragout 36th, and James Richardson starts 34th, but he doesn't have to worry because he already won last race at the Super Snack 500 to become a three-time winner last race, and more importantly, he is a championship contender at San Joltis. He'll be competing at Zent Joltas for a title. So now, will another chaser lock his or her spot in to the Zent Joltas race for a championship? Or will we see an underdog rise out of the ashes here at the Brickyard? Pace car comes out. Kamika Jazzin, last season champion, hopes to finally win for the first time in season 25. As we're about to go green here at Indy. be a challenge for these cars to survive the treacherous brickyard. Great start by the 18 of Jazz and ooh, someone just caught up in smoke there. Wow, someone just must have gone hard on the tires in the back. Jared Lewis, I think, was the driver. It might have been the driver. We'll have to look back on it when we have the time. We have a big crash, big wreck in the back of the pack. I see a couple chasers involved, and I think, yeah, Fitzwater, Smart, MDev, three chasers involved. Bringing out the first yellow of the race. And Jazzin pulled away for the lead. She'll have to deal with a restart. Before we get to the wreck, let's see about the little thing we saw in the out of the exit of turn two. What happened? I thought I could have sworn somebody was trying to spin someone out right here. I think it was Jared Lewis hitting. Yeah, it was Jared Lewis right here. He got contact with Alex Hawkins. Ooh, hits the wall. Right there, he hit the wall there, and he was able to get through that. But, I don't think he was able to get through this wreck. Three wide is just too tight. Yeah, right here, Lewis gets clipped. The 16 of Nicky Maxwell's involved. There's Smart spun out by M. Matthew M. Dev, and then the other drivers get into the turn three wall, and they rack. Big crash here for the start of the race. Three chasers taken out already. So three of the seven chasers were, three of the ten chasers, I should say, are involved. Yikes. Yellow comes out, and there will be a couple drivers coming to the pits. And wow. Yeah, remember in Indy in the IndyCar mod that these drivers had trouble coming off Pit Road at the Indy 500, but in the Brickyard 400 it seems to be no problem. Ah, I kind of don't get it. But anyway, a couple drivers stayed out, including Sam Rogers, who's your new leader. More importantly, nobody retired from the that, from the wreckage. All 40 drivers are still running. So that is 
a pretty good sight to see, to see all cars still running in the, on the track. Green flag. Sam Rogers leads. He almost won, by, by the way, in the Super Snack 500. He's looking to retaliate. He got passed by Richardson, by the way, in the final lap of that race. So he's hoping for retaliation here today. Dylan Young is hoping for redemption. Hopes to get one win here in season 25. He came out of retirement to compete in the 25th season, the special silver season. And Young wants to go home with a victory. Honda Shizaz, another winless driver as they're going three wide for the lead. Barreto's trying to go down low. All these three cars have not won this season, so this might be the opportunity they've been waiting for. Side by side, Barreto and Shizaz. Tremika Jazzin as well. Jazzin getting help from her teammate Tord Larson. And Larson's a chaser, the highest chaser so far running. Contact with Nathan Hudson. He's forced up in the wall. We have a crash in the back. And John Arnott's in it. Two more chasers taken out. Yikes, it has just not been a great day for the chasers. Two more chasers were taken out of another crash, and we're gonna have we're gonna have ourselves another caution. Igor Boreto is the leader. Let's look back at what happened between Fitzwater and Arnett. They were in a mix-up here. Oh man, bigger crash than we thought. Cody Hagen was involved as well. It all started when Hagen was coming off the pit road on full speed into John Arnett and Jay Jefferson. I don't know what that was about. Honestly, I really don't know why Why would Hagen get in front of the 24 and wreck them out. Fitzwater had nowhere to go. He couldn't see where he was going. And he hits the 24 head on. And with just like that, their race is over. Barreto's still out in front. They'll be coming to Pitt Road. A couple drivers stayed out, including Kermika Jazzin. Jazzin stays out to take the lead. And three cars out. Fitzwater and Arnott are out. So is Jefferson and Magnus is down one lap. Yikes. Back to the green at the Brickyard. Jazzin's the leader. And how is Hawking's third without a hood? I really don't get it. But he is hoping for a miracle chance here as we're back to the green. Jazzin looks to keep her lead from the 48. And Balvin, by the way, has a win this season, just so you know. Looking for his second this season. Has looking to become a two-time winner here. Lawler, third place. No, fourth place. I'm sorry. No, yeah, fourth place. No, third place. Oh, my gosh. Magnus put me off. Another lap car, and he's in the middle of the pack. Which I don't get sometimes, but... I guess it's physics. It's better than those double fall restarts we've had. And now Jasmine has to come to pit road. She has a problem. Oh no, we have a crash too in the back. We have a crash in turn four and again involving Cody Hagen. Two other cars were involved as well. Ooh, that's that doesn't look too good from where how I looked at it. Three wide battle turns ugly as Barber forces Ben Braley down the apron. When Braley try to come back up to retaliate, boom, right there. Four is involved and Ben Braley rides the catch fence in a scary crash. And there's four Hagen, 20 Barber involved. This is the second straight wreck that Barber was involved in. And that was not the only one. Leia Walker got dumped. The slower Alex Hawkins just couldn't take the 32 getting in his way, and he just took her out. Yikes. And a scary crash here at the fence with Ben Braley, Hagen, and Barber bringing out our third yellow of the day. 
And unlucky. Whoa, whoa, wow. And this might benefit Kermika Jasmine because she was just about to come to pit road and she's out. Yeah, she already pitted, and so this will benefit Kermika Jasmine definitely having to come to pit road to uh, before. Now she's back in the front. Like nothing happened. She might have an advantage over some of these cars who pitted under yellow, but we'll see if that is the case. Lucky break for the 18. She's the leader again. Let's hope she keeps it that way. Green flag. Three more cars out of the race. The three cars I mentioned that were involved in the wrecks all retired. Sorry, my phone was ringing for a bit there while I was, uh, you know, doing this, doing my thing. And now we have a side-by-side -side battle with Jasmine and Lawler. Who's gonna win the battle to the line? Side-by-side, -side, we have a caution. And Jasmine's gonna barely beat the 46 out to the line, racing back. We're gonna get to the restart with three laps to go. Kermika Jasmine tries to hang out of the lead as we're back to the green at the Brickyard. Next caution ends the race. They're gonna go side by side here. It looks Rogers looks like he's looking low, trying to find a passing zone. Here they come to turn three. Lawler looks low. Here he comes for the lead. Jacob Lawler and Jasmine battle it out. To turn four. Lawler trying to clear. Larson forced up in the apron. Here he comes. Big crash. Melvin's involved. Big wreck at turn four. The race will be over. And Lawler makes it. Jacob Lawler does it. Makes the pass on Jasmine under the caution. Wow, what a move by Jacob Lawler, and he's one of the and he's the winningest driver in Palma NASCAR history for those re, for that kind for those kind of moves he always makes, and he is successful. And we'll see if he survives. Now they'll come turn four. No pit stops. And they and Jacob Lawler is going to come off the final turn and collect his second win of the season here in the Brickyard 400. He adds another win to his storied career, and he does it at the Bricks. And what a heartbreaker for Kamika Jazz and her closest she's come to a win this season. And man, she got passed on the final laps under before the caution came out. And a heartbreaker for Jasmine. But Jacob Lawler collects his second win this season. And he continues to be known as a legend in the series. Adds another win to his storied career. And this time coming in the Brickyard 400. And Stonemaier Jr. for the second straight race. No, wait. Stonemaier Jr. is the highest chaser here in sixth place. Raghav 7th, Richardson 9th. So three chasers finish the top 10. Not a bad run for some of the chasers. Stoudemire Jr., he's been in the top two in terms of the highest finishing chasers in the past two races. So he is looking to be locked into the championship run coming to Zanjoltis. That's it from here at the Brickyard as Jacob Waller collects his second victory of the season. And we will see you at Homestead, Miami.